Well, I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer July of 2017. Um, I found it, so definitely a proponent of self-examination because it would have been a completely different ball game if I hadn't found it when I did. So I had HER2, uh, thankfully no BRCA gene. I did get tested. Um, due to where it was and the size, we decided to do a bilateral vasectomy. So chemo first, and you, you never really think that you're going to get diagnosed. You don't think that you're going to be put on this road that you don't want to be on. And it's, it's kind of scary. You, you just, you're like, why me? Why, why am I here? You know how you would see a cancer patient and you would look at them and think, oh, poor thing. So I never really realized that's what we do until I have no hair and no eyebrows and they look at you like, oh, poor thing. But I, I'll just smile and say, hi because I don't want people to think that it's, it's not the nail in the coffin. It, the treatment has come so far. And you know, programs like the Y and the, the medication that, I mean, they've come a long way. We still have ways to go, but I'm thankful. I can't imagine, you know, if I had been diagnosed 10 years ago, it would have been completely different. It takes so much out of you. Just physically, I remember the first time coming to the Livestrong and going down the stairs, like, whoa, I better use the handrail. I, I, couldn't have, I couldn't have gone down those steps without the handrail. And then balancing and reaching, you know, because of the surgery, just n completely not the same. Completely not the same. And it, it's, I think that one of the things that I learned um, throughout the program is, and it was encouraging, was feeling stronger week to week. But also, I never really stopped and analyzed how I felt about having cancer. I was too worried about what my daughters felt like, what my husband felt like. I was definitely stronger than I was before I was diagnosed. Not only getting strong physically, but getting strong emotionally and spiritually and realize that, you know, this affects so many people in different ways and to be able to talk it through. I don't feel whole, but I'm getting there. And I, I, I feel like I, I would have only discovered that through the YMCA, Livestrong program. I mean that with my heart.